Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Skywind 007. On today's episode, we're going to be looking at this. This is the beautiful, programmable, 14-cup coffee maker. So what's special about it, it's, um, it says it's fully programmable, and it has a strength selector, special cleaning cycle, I'm wondering what that is, and the touch um, activated display can be turned on and off, it says right here. A screen that illuminates only when you need it. So let's open it up and see what this is all about. Okay, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, it's very nice looking, very elegant. So it does have a metal filter or copper. I don't know what that is. Hmm. I believe this is the... What is this? This is where the um, mineral filter goes looks like two compartments but it's the same thing and that's it so let's turn it on and see what it does okay so there was a beep there and it does have time Okay, folks, so the next thing I want to do is show you how the screen works. So to turn it on, you press this button right here. That turns it on. And then you have these two buttons right here. This controls the program. We're going to talk about that later. And these are settings right here. So let's go into settings. It says select, but it's actually settings. So you get the strength. The 1, 2, 4 cups mode clock set mode clean mode and keep warm mode and also the bell function if you want to turn that on and off so let's um, go back to strength here you got three choices this light um, gourmet gourmet with a T at the end and bold so that's one two three one, two, three. So the next thing I want to talk about is this. This um, one, two, four cup mode. It, when you select that, it'll only make, uh, it'll turn the function into one, two, four cups. So you're only going to put one, two, four cups of water in there. Let's keep going. One, two, four cup mode. So clock. Let's set the clock. Right now it's 6 p.m. and 30 minutes so you can't go down you have to go up <coughs> 6 30 so that's how you set the clock so let's keep going so that was clock clean cycle So keep warm. You have a maximum. Let's see. I believe four minutes. Or four hours. Okay, four hours. Let's keep going. So that was the keep warm and now the bell you can turn that on and off so right there the bell is off let's turn it back on there we go it's back on so those are the settings let's go through it again you got strength one to four cup mode clock set clean cycle keep warm and bell on and off so that's what you that's what you get in the settings so let's wait to go back home okay so now let's set the program let's set it to 638 
press and hold. So it's 6, 638. So let's wait. So this is telling us right here that the program is set. It's set. And here's our strength. One, two, three. So that's bold. It's not light. It's not gourmet with a T at the end or bold. Okay, you can hear it. So here we go. Okay, so that was how you do it with a program. And I'm sure most people will do it that way. But if you're not interested in programming this, you just want to immediately start brewing. All you have to do is, um, of course, you set it up over there. You put the coffee in there. And then you press brew. And it'll start right away. And you can hear it. Let me stop it. And that stops it. So this is the main menu right here. I wish they would have called this settings instead of select. I don't know why they chose that. Well, I guess settings is a lot longer. And there is no way to turn it off. You just have to leave it there. And it automatically turns off like that. So right now it's off. So I think we've covered all the digital part of this um, coffee maker. So now let's go over the um, items, the accessories that it comes with. So it comes with this um, spoon. It has a filter. The filter goes in here. In this part. And it has a, the actual coffee filter, which is right here. So you're not going to be needing that um, those paper filters. Unless you want to do something strange with them. And of course, this is the water reservoir. I hope that's how you pronounce that. Reservoir. And, whoops, I forgot to put this there. And you close it. That covers the basic functions. Now let's look at the carafe. I don't know why, I don't know why everything's in French. Reservoir, carafe. Gourmet. Uh, anyway, um, this is the carafe, carafe, whatever, and it's made of glass. It's a very high quality, very transparent glass, as you can see. And this is just water right now, so I haven't tested it with coffee yet. So I will be doing that shortly, and I will be. I'm going to be getting creative with it. Oh, and by the way, there's the keep warm function, which I'm not going to talk about it too much because I'm, I'm not interested in that. But you can do it. This heats up over here. Um, if you do want to keep something warm, I already covered that, but I'm going to talk about it again. You just go here. Keep warm. So anyway, the first thing I want to do is um, a little bit of coffee and then I want to do some tea. And, like I said, I want to get creative. So, to get creative, I'm going to make some ram ramen, ramen, ramen noodles. Or one of those uh, Asian soups. So, let me go get the coffee. Okay, so the first thing we start off with is these right here. These are the coffee beans. So... You're gonna put the, you're gonna get a grinder, which is this one right here. You put the coffee beans in here. You close the lid. If you look there, those are the coffee beans. And then you start grinding.
Okay, so I am finished right here. So here's our coffee. And we're going to pour that water in there. Okay, so we're going to do the... Where is the function? One to four cup function. So let's start. Let's close the lid. Okay, so as you can see, it has finished. So now it's just keeping it warm. And let me just finish it off by completely turning it off. So let's um let's look at our coffee. Ah, smells amazing. Ah, so let me put some sugar in it and start drinking it. Okay, so our next test is going to be tea. Two bags like that. And we're going to add some sweetener. So we're going to put it in here. And let's start. Okay, so our tea is ready. So it's just keeping it warm. So let's turn that off. And let's test it and see how it came out. Let me mix up the sweetener. So let me test it. <sighs> Very hot, but tastes good. Okay, so here's another test. We're going to set this up so that it'll be ready for 9 p.m. So I'm not going to use the timer right now, the, the program function right now. But that's what I'm going to be doing in real life. I'm going to set this to prepare at a specific time when I like to eat this. So let's see if that's going to work out. Okay, so let's pull out the soup. Let's add the water. And let's turn it on. Okay, so it is ready. So it's now keeping it warm, but let's turn it off. So now let's find out how that soup came out. Okay, so let's pull out the soup. Let's spin it around a little bit, because I know a few clumps are there. Yeah, I think it's ready. Let's pour it in. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so this is nice. So basically, if you want, you can make a soup in the morning. Or you can make tea, or you can make coffee. It's one or the other, but you can't have both unless you have two of these, but you're not going to have two of these. So this is great. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Definitely. It's very, very good. Um, everything came out as expected. The tea came out perfect. The coffee came out perfect. The soup is not meant for this. I got to warn you, but there's nothing on the instructions that say that you can make soup from this machine. So I already tested this, I already tested that a little bit. Perfect. 
So my conclusion about this um, beautiful coffee maker is that it is great. It's perfect. Um, well, it's almost perfect. Nothing is perfect. Nothing that I've seen so far is perfect. But this one gets close. I do like the touch screen, so it's, this is going to be very easy to clean. There are no buttons to get sticky. And um, it's uh, you can do it in, when it's dark. I like the fact that it has um, a, a clock. Well, most of them do, but um, this one's very visible, which is good. It has its own filter, which is great. It could be better, but um, for the price range, I think um, this is great. So I can recommend it. I give it a five stars out of five. And thank you for watching. Subscribe and thumbs up. Thank you.